Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our FW190A8 and we're looking at the usage of the radio. Now, first of all, the guy we're going to be contracting is this tower, Long Sur Mer. Uh, he is available on in our frequency range is 38.800 megahertz. That's what we're interested in. That's going to be AM modulation. Or a modulation we've got our plane here now we cannot change the frequency of our radio set in the cockpit that's standard for all world war ii fighters that i'm aware of so we have to change it here we're going to click on him and we're going to click on our radio preset and the channel we're going to want to communicate on we've got four channels that we can choose from here four presets we've also got this an afn2 base frequency that's for navigation so we'll ignore that and we'll just say yeah, we're going to use frequency number three or channel number three we're going to change it to 38.8 eight there as per the tower and just spawn a couple of guys in and we're going to go and test our radio so save in we go okay we're in the cockpit now we look at our fug 16 which is what this radio is you can see we've got our controls down here so first of all we've got our selector with whether we want to use radio for communications or for direction finding and it's communications so that's going to be ft out of interest we could have direction finding there next we've got our volume control so we can left click and hold or use our mouse scroll wheel to change the volume we're going to turn it clockwise to maximum next we've got our channel selector so our four preset channels we've got channel one two three and four three is the one we're going to use but out of interest um i have set another guy on the field as a tank over there there you can see him there and i've set him transmitting on uh, 39 megahertz am and i've also programmed that into channel two i think so we can actually listen to him so i'm going to go and you can hear him shouting in georgian or ukrainian or whatever that is so that's just something interesting we could show back to channel three which is what we're actually going to use uh, to call the tower and communicate with the tower and the fourth knob here is our radio frequency range selector now this doesn't do anything in dcs but historically uh interested in it is we've got the options of zf which is seal flug which is what target flight we think it is we've got a blank we've got firm and we've got nar so you know distant or near and uh, just be interested if anyone knew what that would do historically so next i'm going to try and contact the tower with uh, an invalid frequency just to show you that it doesn't work so we're going to go to channel four which we know doesn't work uh oh, sorry one thing uh, i forgot to show here is the fine tuning here so we can plus or minus 30 kilohertz here just like you know an old school radio where you could fine tune left or right just a bit to get it perfectly clear so we're going to try it with an invalid frequency contacting atc to contact them properly without cheating we do this here com push to talk which is this button here so i'm going to push that atc louvre long sur mer request takeoff springfield one two request takeoff and what we're going to find is that we do not get a response because obviously we're on an invalid channel stand by okay so now we're going to go to channel three which we know does work it's our 38.8 .8, i think it was and we're going to write alt and backslash again request takeoff springfield one two request takeoff and this time we should get a response from the automated tower standby springfield one two Ta -da. okay so that's that uh, next thing to note is that frequency one channel one sorry does not work at least in dcs um is that any reason for that we can find stuff i'm not sure quite frankly there's just a warning about it in the manual Roger, and do you want to talk about historically what these channels 1 to 4 would actually have been used for? Yeah, sure. So, Roman numeral 1 uh, historically would have been uh, for communication within a flight or a squadron, um, while Roman numeral 2 would have been for larger raids, so communication between several squadrons. Uh, the triangle is an ETC frequency, and the square is a I think it's Reichsdefense frequency or something like that. It's it's basically a countrywide um, hmm. uh, frequency, it's the closest thing you have to guard, I oh, suppose. Yeah. But it's it's just for for communication of really large uh, defense efforts. Very interesting. Cool. Right. Well, I hope that helps, and see you later.